look at this gorgeous beach we'll be looking for crabs and stonefish in those pools along the shore ah love it here Just walking in the shallows. A crab lover will always find a crab. That's a mud crab. Beautiful softy. Yeah, this is a soft crab, but I'm lucky. Hey, it's a nice little buck. Soft crab. Oh yeah. See? Can't pinch me. Beautiful little buck. Just shed it shell not long ago, but how amazing this little creature, hey? And it's perfectly healthy. It's probably as fresh it gets. It doesn't even have the strength of pinching me when I put my fingers next to its nippers. So I don't want to stress him too much, but that could be another lesson. Um, how you grab a crab so when you see it in the water with small crabs they will instantly use their back legs to stand up vertically so they can actually pinch you uh, even slightly behind the shell so you need to go from this distance pin them down and go for the back legs do it um, at the same time so they actually can't then stand up and get you with small crabs uh they got me a few times it's much more difficult than with um fully developed hard crabs but oh i just made my morning wherever i go even here look we can see buildings in the distance there's still crabs around he's angry and dangerous but he's actually he's actually on the mercy of elements at the moment and he needs to survive a few days before he gets his power back in his claws it's a beautiful healthy crab that's gonna live long here um, yeah he, he would love to try and get me <laughs> he can't he must be so upset like mate perfect opportunity to get this fella in his fingers and I can't even do it you know what I'm going to put it in a nice cozy spot let's see if he likes this area look there's a log with a bit of water Oh, just a perfect spot. Look at you, mate. I found you a new home. Oh, you'll be so happy there. But <laughs> here you go. Even though I didn't find any stonefish, a crab lover will always find some mud crabs, hey? <laughs> Look how quickly this tide is going in. If you ever wondered about those roots and why do I use shoes when I go out? Well, they are soft, yeah? They bending underneath my foot. You can see it here at the moment I let go they will go straight up so I'm not breaking anything but they still are pretty uncomfortable when you stand on it and when you walk quickly they can actually puncture your foot the amount of injuries I had in last six months going barefoot around places it's just not worth the infections I get much better idea actually walk with shoes from mangroves unless you're walking really slowly plus some people walking barefoot since childhood and they soles are actually much thicker um, not me i grew up in poland where we are civilized people and we wear shoes <laughs> just joking um, 
here in Australia it's a bit different all my kids hide their shoes they love just going out even on the street even shopping centers not wearing anything not very hygienic but that's the way they do it here that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this little Christmas special something different a bit of ocean and I'll see you hopefully in two weeks adios